To most, it's a fun pastime, an activity that unifies families and friends across America. But to a teen from Indiana, it's much more. My name is Jack Jaquan Anderson, and I've been balling up for three months, 12 days, 20 hours, and five minutes. Jaquan is suffering from an obsession as infectious as disease. It's taken over his entire being and points to the question, is ball life? And this is exactly the question that Jaquan's parents are faced with. I'm disappointed. I need that scholarship. But first, we have to look back and find where this began. It all started in the spring of 16. My dad forced me, you know, to watch the March Madness tournament. And, uh, you know, after that, I just got that bug. And. Ball's been with me ever since then. Hi, I'm Lewis Anderson. I'm the father of Jake. It's a Jaquan. Shut up. This is my lawn chair. Yeah, me being Jake's father gives me the privilege of saying this. He sucks. This is, this is my little baby Jake. <laughs> Jake all thinks it happened after I showed him March Madness. See, a little different from my perspective here. You see, I think everything started happening after you went a little crazy after playing this game called Fortnite. And all these epic gamer moments, you know, I don't know the lingo anymore. I don't know what people do these days. See, back in my day, we just chased each other with sticks and hit each other. It's a fun time. I'll tell you how to treat yourself right. Hang with the right crowd. I mean... Now, he, like, you can't even understand him. All he talks about is, like, Colby and Michael Jackson and LeBron. Like, who, what? Yeah, what, what does Michael Jackson have to do with basketball? Yeah. Thought he was a baseball player. Okay, obviously his parents are clueless, but maybe we can ask, uh, oh yeah, Keith, his acquaintance, maybe? Hi, I'm Keith. Uh, I've known him for a while. Like Tried to avoid him. You know, he just keeps... Somehow finds me every time. I'll be on the other side of the school and find me. What's up, yeah. Keith? Uh, How's it doing, bro? Uh, yeah, he up thinks, top. He thinks I'm his friend. Down low. I'm not doing that. Stop. 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 You know the vibes? Just... Bro. Ah, good old Keith. I'll see you around, dog. I hate you. What Keith fails to realize is that Jaquan's parents have to deal with this on the daily. What's up, mom and pops? I was out with the boys, bowling up. You were out there by yourself, weren't you? No, man, Keith was there, my homie. Keith's a bad influence. Plus, he doesn't like you. Ah, you're a trickster, pops. Ah. Uh, he needs help. Yeah, in a shower. But before they can get help, they have to define what the problem is. He's been acting strange recently, like, I'll be like, oh, hey, can you hand me this thing? Hey, honey, can you grab me some water? Sure, Ma. Got to. And then he'll just, like, chuck it at me suddenly, without, like, any warning. And yeah, it's a mess. Here we go. Psych. Step back. Curry. Another clutch three comes down. From downtown. Some I said about doing that in the, in the house. I'm sorry, Dad. I'll, I'll just go for the dunk. Oh, oh, oh. Another chance behind the back. You know, I'm getting better, Dad. I really am. 
Yeah, yeah, I can, I can see that. But how does one treat an obsession with basketball? Am I going to make it to the big leagues? I mean, if you try hard enough and just believe in yourself, I think one day you can. Yay! Why do you help, why do you help him and lie to him and promote this? It's only going to get worse. I'm just being encouraging. At least I don't beat the kid. Down. At least I don't drink on the weekends. At least I didn't leave him at Walmart. At least I don't drive a mom van. I love my family. It is clear that Jaquan's parents need to take action. But how? I think we need an intervention. No, he's, he's fine. You know, it's just a phase. Yeah. It's not a phase. It's been going on for f five years. He needs help. Uh, he's just going after his dreams, you know? Like, I mean, just, he's good. He's getting better, you know? Just because he got rejected from the basketball team like five times and the coach personally contacted us and told him and to, like, leave him alone and stop showing up randomly at basketball practices doesn't mean he's bad. Yes, it does. Plus, it was nine times. We, we, we don't talk about those other four, though, yeah. We kind of, yeah, we don't talk about those four. With the Anderson family's mental health on the line, it is time for the intervention. Hey, Jake, can you, I mean, Jaquan, can you come on in here? Yeah, I got you, homie. Yeah, dog. What you want to talk about? Well, me and your mom have something to tell you, so I have to tell you... Take it away! Your father thinks you should give up basketball. That's his idea, not mine. But why? I hate to say this, son, because I'm only going to say this once to your face, and it's going to hurt me. You suck. It's not possible. Mom, Bob, it's not, it's not possible. I, I hate to admit it, but it, it is. It's true. I don't have a family anymore. He'll be fine. Just give him a, give him a few hours. Two hours later. <laughs> Maybe not. Hey, Dad. I thought about what you said. And, uh, swing that, uh, baseball? Now we're talking, boy! Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> you need me in the box. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing, though. Uh, anyways, um, where are they now? What are they doing? Uh, yeah. Certainly, Jaquan must be doing a lot better, uh, right? Well, you know, I, I guess I could try to be surprised, but personally, I saw that divorce coming from a mile away. I mean, the fact that they thought Michael Jackson was a baseball player. I mean, come on. What's up with that? Where did you live under a rock? What's going on with that? Come on. I mean, you can't say that your life is complete if you haven't heard Michael Jackson sing Blame It on the Boogie. Also, thanks for watching the documentary.